All right, let's take a fun little walk down a curvy lane, folks, and check out Jason Buttigieg, husband of former South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg, in a clip that you're just going to love. Chris, roll that clip. All right, I pledge my heart. To the rainbow. To the rainbow. Of the not so typical gay camp. Of the not so typical gay camp. One camp. One camp. Full of pride. Full of pride. Indivisible. Indivisible. With affirmation and equal rights for all. With affirmation and equal rights for all. Watch your heads. (laughs) Okay. Uh, Now, before we dissect this particular incident with our blunt little rhetorical tools. Let's talk for a moment about allegiance, a word that literally deals with you and those with whom you choose to form an alliance. In this country, ever since about the end of World War II, we've had a pledge of allegiance to our flag, the iconographic representation of the United States of America and everything she has historically stood for. We've said it at events and in our schools. We've added and in some cases removed the words under God to and from it and fought over the same way we fight over just about everything else. If you're like any other red-blooded American, you've probably mumbled it a million times under your breath as you desperately tried to wake up and face your academic day, stumbling over it, and in some cases completely mangling the words. But have you ever really thought about it? about what you're doing when you say it. You see, it's not just meant to be a jingoistic ritual to get the heart pounding and the blood pumping and the eyes watering, although it can definitely do all three of those things. It's also an act in a way of consecrating one's mind and body (coughs) to the task of upholding America's central raison d'etre for reason for existence, a reason for existence to exercise and maintain The cause of liberty. The words you say are words of commitment to a cause. To put it another way, a commitment we should all take really seriously, given how perilously close we sometimes come to losing that liberty. Now that we've established a framework, let's see how the pledge you just saw fits on it. First and foremost, I would be remiss if I didn't point out (coughs) that the gay camp in question is a school-sponsored event. Cue the part of the show where I tell you that you need to get your kids out of public schools because there's nothing they're nothing more than indoctrination centers trying to pump out a new generation of dyed in the wool card carrying leftists and you don't want your kids having any part of it. And I know that some people might push back and ask, what about other clubs and camps sponsored by schools that teach things not every parent agree with agrees with? Okay, on the surface, it's a fair point. Like, for instance, the FCO, your Fellowship of Christian Athletes, would be a prime example that comes to mind. Well, explaining the difference between the two situations would take a whole hour, but let me see if I can sum it up. John Adams once stated that the new country they were forming would only work for a moral and religious people. Now, if you think the separation of church and state is about keeping God out of schools, I suggest you go back and read what's written about it because it's not that. In other words, this sort of thing was baked into the cake from the very beginning. If you're along for the ride with me in understanding that a gay camp doesn't fall under the same distribution of basic American ideological preconceptions, then we have enough common ground to understand that this sort of thing is just another wing of the leftist machine doing its best to raise up a new set of useful widgets. Now, finally, let's circle back to that whole allegiance thing. If you're gay and you're pledging your heart to the rainbow, let me give out a warning, and please believe me that this comes from a place of love. You're pledging allegiance to an ideology that doesn't actually care about you. Now, I'm not saying other gay people. I'm saying the ideological framework that's got its hand up your up the puppet of your so-called marginalized group status, it's not there because it cares about you. Don't give in and allow yourself to be a tool. Pledge your allegiance to something that pledges its allegiance back. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here.